interest in medicine originated with my father, who actually used to be an engineer uh, before he went to medical school. So um, that's where this passion for both engineering and medicine, which culminates now in neuroengineering, that's how it originated. The daunting challenge of trying to decode the brain made this decision to go into neuroengineering very obvious to me. And it so happened that uh, a place close to home, you know, just a short drive away from Austin, had the Neuroengineering Initiative, whose labs, when I looked at for the first time, I was, I was fascinated by. The first lab uh, that I entered at Rice was Jacob Robinson's lab, who uh, is working on nano neurotechnology, which means he's, his, he and his students are designing devices that can interface with the nervous system of a of number of different organisms, both to gain foundational scientific understanding of neuroscience, as well as to design technologies which are clinically translatable. We're trying to use the current state of the patient, you know, the current neural activity, and get some information from that, how they're feeling, what the state of their symptoms are, and then use that information to inform how we're actually delivering the therapy. It's a task that uh, I'm very excited about and ambitiously hope that before I die, you know, we're, I'm going to be able to help um, progress the field to become closer to that, to that capability I described earlier where we have individual control over every single neuron or every single neural circuit. Go. Here's half. Half, nice and easy. Three. Ironically, I'm from Austin, uh, where the rowing is great, uh, but I didn't do rowing before, uh, didn't do crew before I came to Rice. Breathe, breathe. We practice five times a week, both land and water practices. Row. Before COVID, I would say there were 15 people on the team. After COVID, it was two people, me and one other person. Um, so by default, we had to become the leaders of the team and um, to continue, uh, keep the team alive. Certainly, uh, it's grown me in both athletic aspects and, and in, in leadership, determination, character. I hope, you know, as I move on, I both, you know, to Cambridge next year and then to graduate school for in a PhD program after that, I can act as a sort of representative or ambassador uh, of those professors and those friends who I admire so much, who I gained really um, in both technical and non-technical ways, teach others the same intuitions that they taught me and apply what they taught me to translative uh, neuroengineering therapies.